It was a season that started with the Canucks paying their respects to Luc Bourdon. Now another tragedy to deal with after learning of the death of Taylor Pyatt's fiance, Carly Bragnallo. I think this is, uh, is going to make us stronger. We faced adversity before and uh, we got closer together and uh, pulled through it and this is what we're going to do at this present time. Boy, Carly was a great gal, a great spirit, I think. Every time I saw her, she used to laugh and had a good time. And uh, obviously, rooming with Taylor on the road, I know he cared a lot about her and he was really looking forward to his wedding. Like Bourdon, Bragnalo died in a motor vehicle accident. Another friend still remains in critical condition in Jamaica, where the family has a vacation home. Pyatt found out overnight and flew back to Thunder Bay early this morning. We're going to be there to support them, that's for sure, because he's part of our, our team. And uh, personally, uh, Taylor was my roommate the last two years on the road, and uh, we spent a lot of time together. And uh, I know we care really about uh, Carly and uh, talk to her every night. Once we start playing, have a game, we, we can clear our mind and start focusing back on hockey. But, uh, you know, all the boys are, are thinking about him. And uh, like I said, he's a, he's a great guy. And, uh, you know, just uh, it's too bad. As for Pyatt's teammates, who have been so focused on a chase for a division title, the tragedy offers some perspective. It puts life into perspective, obviously, but uh, you know, at the same time, uh, we've dealt with a lot of adversity, and I think this is going to bring us uh, closer together as a group. And um, you know, obviously, uh, um, makes you uh, cherish life a bit more. Farhan Lalji, TSN, Vancouver. A report in the Thunder Bay Chronicle Journal says that Bragnello was one of five passengers in a cab, including her mother, Debbie. Police say that the car lost control on a corner, hit a utility pole and overturned. And reports also say that Debbie Bragnello remains in hospital in serious but stable condition.